guys thought i'll give you guys a quick update on the garden uh, my friend darren asked for one yesterday when we're when he was live streaming on sis hapster's channel and i <laughs> tried to turn the camera on and cut myself off hey fred how's it going man so it's my uh lemongrass doing well i need to transplant that into a bigger pot i think it's getting too big for that pot my kahai hawaii hibiscus doing very well battling aphids on this thing man like every other day i gotta come out here with a spray bottle start spraying that thing down crazy my pakalana which is a flowering vine and i talked about it in several videos where i'm gonna make a trellis for it and i haven't done it yet because i don't know what i want to do with it yet exactly or how i want to make it so i've kind of just been lagging on that there's no excuse for it i just haven't done it I need to sit down and design the, the type of box and trellis I want. Because I want to put a box and a trellis connected. Just haven't figured out how I want to do that yet. Anyway, uh, my Himayudin mango tree that I heavily pruned. Look at that, man. Cut that thing way back. And it did exactly what I was hoping it would do. It stopped growing tall. And the trunk started thickening up, which is perfect. I got in a grow bag to air prune the roots. I'm trying to keep this tree small, dwarf, like a bonsai kind of tree. Like a potted mango kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I just noticed some brown tipping here. Need to look into that. Anyway, red leaf lettuce that I'm gonna allow to bolt so I can collect seeds. This is pretty much just a lettuce bin. I grow lettuce in here. My nui nui let I let bolt. That's seed seeding already. I gotta collect those. Parsley, uh, Italian parsley, and culantro, which is uh, very similar to cilantro. It tastes like cilantro, smells like cilantro. They use it in Puerto Rican cooking a lot. Uh, but in Hawaii, it's hard to grow cilantro because it's so hot. Cilantro immediately wants to bolt. It has a short life here, so you got to really watch it. So I, I decided to grow this instead. Green onions, doing very well. Watering container for the little pollinators, hopefully. Some of the birds are drinking it, but these are out here for the pollinators. Choi sum, which I grew from seeds. Never did it before, but what I did was I just put some dug, dug some trenches in shallow trenches in with my finger and I just laid the seeds out and it started growing so stoked I love choy some especially the way they make it in the Korean restaurant um, here we have my carrots get a veg on this man they're getting huge so I don't know what the carrots look like underneath I don't know if you guys can see it but there's some carrot here sticking out right there on the bottom so I don't know maybe I have to pull some and see what it looks like but the veg is huge perpetual spinach which is uh i mean i need to transplant this into another pot as well and i just kind of been tossing the idea back and forth in my head about making an in-ground raised bed to grow some of these plants that i eat a lot of because i want them to get bigger so i've kind of just been going back and forth with the idea of just transplanting this into a bigger pot or a bigger grow bag or putting it in the ground. I still haven't made up my mind yet, but I got to do something soon. And there's my perpetual spinach doing very well. The leaves are starting to curl. I mean, it doesn't look like anything's... I haven't been harvesting it as regularly as I used to, so I got to start harvesting that. I don't know what's causing the leaves to curl, but I can't see anything. I got some beets still growing in there, doing very well, getting big. I need to like harvest those too. You guys can see that sticking out of the ground right there with the purple stems <laughs> I guess I gotta start I gotta pull that and see what it looks like basil doing well I cut it way back because I made a lot of pesto the other day and my Cherokee purple tomato doing pretty good um, the bottom of it's getting brown I don't know why I can't see any mites or anything I've been looking at it but it finally started fruiting look at that man first Cherokee purple tomato stoked I had to come in here with an electric toothbrush to pollinate it. <laughs> and it looks like it's working. I haven't I don't see any other ones though. I'm trying to find some. Oh look there's one right there. There's one right there, another one. Yeah, stoked. Oh, so I gotta go look over it more. Look over it better. Give me a spearmint here. And this is the bed I made for my niece with the uh, arugula and lettuce and the zucchini plant that's obviously very happy to see us <laughs> another one right there these are all hand pollinated 
it's kind of cool when you when they're growing they're kind of light green as soon as you pollinate them like the next day they turn this really dark green kind of cool my Hawaiian chili my herb bin doing well my aloe back there and my dill has gone to seed so I got to collect that and I can't forget my favorite plant of all time here my cranberry hibiscus look at this love this plant I transplanted it about five days ago into this grow bag and it's just taken off man the plants totally changed when I pulled it out of the pot it wasn't root bound or anything but I don't know because there's more room for it or what but man this plant has changed drastically the other thing I did was I don't know if you guys can see it but on the bottom there is cedar bark now one of my friends Kathy from the Philippines Kathy Opalawan thank you very much Kathy for the idea she sent me a video that had um, talked about cedar bark and pest control and since I've had the cedar bark in there in the last five days or so five or six days since I transplanted this thing I don't have any mealy bugs on this and I used to come out here every single night with a spray bottle or early in the morning when I got up or went to work I would come out here with a spray bottle and manually go through this whole plant and kill all the mealy bugs now I don't find any mealy bug well I found little baby itty bitty ones but nothing like before so I guess the cedar bark is working thanks Kathy for that it's pretty awesome working good down here I got some pepper plants called Aji Chucha A-J-I-C-U-C-H-A -A, Aji Chucha it's from Puerto Rico I got it from this lady in Florida and I started it looking pretty good so uh, we'll see how they they turn out and this is my urban worm bag I made my frame for here uh, I got my um, India blue worms in there composting stuff doing very well and that's it guys my own little oasis <laughs> my own little slice of heaven here my little garden it's small but keeps me pretty occupied yeah so that's it guys my little garden my uh, table projects holding up looking pretty good that's about it guys I'm actually considering adding a small aquaponic system because I want to grow some watercress because I love watercress so if I do that I may definitely make an update all right guys I pray our risen Lord and Savior will bless you guys all greatly you guys take care okay talk to you guys later Aloha